Hello guys. Uh, this is my video card here. I just got in. I opened it to check what's in here, and like, let me show you. I didn't open the inside really, just to see if everything's in there. So, black box, basically the orange box for free. Very good. Free. And here's my video card. And box, basically an invoice, whatever. Now the reason I got a power color is I got a amazing deal here. Um, this was remember I'm Canadian, so I'm using Canadian dollars. Uh, this is I got it for 119.99 after ten dollar mail-in rebate. <coughs> so I have to do the mail-in rebate. Uh, and it comes with the orange box basically. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, and the shipping was one to two business days for ten bucks, compared to Newegg, which is like fifteen bucks for like a whole week. Yeah, so let's look at this. Um, let's take a closer look. Let me move this out of the way. <coughs> so, if you don't know Power Color, Power Color is big in Europe. Uh, they used to have a lifetime warranty, but now they cut it down to two years. Um. I really won't need a lifetime warranty as I was looking at an X XFX model before. The XFX model was uh, $5 cheaper actually. But uh, this came with the game so might as well get this. And then it has a mail-in rebate. So um, I'm not going to really use this card for the lifetime. And in two years my video card will probably be changed. Like seriously. Think about it guys. <coughs> so let's look at this. Take a closer look here. Uh, there we go. Power code HD 4770. 512 megabytes of GDR5, dual DVI with the HDMI adapter, obviously, PCI Express 2.0, uh, other side, just other numbers, and just specs here, just languages, specs, uh, Crossfire X, obviously, DirectX 10.1, DirectX 10.1 isn't supported by lots of games, but it's actually a big performance boost, over 10, only ATI cards support it, uh, 2000, HD 2000 series and up, uh, it's mainly just a performance boost, no really graphical bo boost, um, but it's a big difference, kind of, if you look at some benchmarks, uh, Vivo HD technology, a uh, built-in HDMI with 7.1 surround sound, so I can actually get sound off this if I use a HDMI, so let's open this up, plastic wrapping here. So it's a nice, ooh, shiny. It's very shiny, actually. I like shiny. As you can see, if you watch my other reviews and whatever, I like sh looking at shiny things. So this is pretty shiny, actually. Uh, it's a regular box. Nothing special. It's not really thick or whatever. So let's, uh, there's a thing here that's blocking the opening at the top. Let me get that off. I should have a knife here, but... My fingers are good enough, hopefully. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh. So there's a flap here, like that. And, oh, if you can't see, I'm just opening at the top here. Oh, I just took that out. Oh, whatever. Uh. Oh, come on. Can I stop? Yeah, it's... Oh, it is... It's actually really stuck in here. Shaking the box. Gently. Okay, so... Box. Over here. Here's the box. So let's, uh... Open this baby. Oh, yeah. Episode 3. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. So... There we go. It's the contents over here. So, oh, this is very sexy. This is oh my god, nerdgasm. Oh my god. Oh, let's look at that later. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So there's that cover thing. Nothing in there. We got a S video cable. Uh. What's this? Uh. Quick installation guide. Uh, 
blah, 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 blah. side, all different languages, etc. Drivers. Ooh, uh, DVI to HDMI adapter. And DVI to VGA, which I'll be needing. Uh, that's it. Now let's look at the beast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is amazing. This product needs external power. Please connect power cable from power supply of system. Yeah, these people don't even know their English. They put, this product needs external power. It needs. Oh, shit. I kind of dropped it a bit. Let's uh, open the static bag here carefully. So this is 40 nanometers. So it's gonna overclock real nice here. Oh, and it's gonna run great on my power supply. Oh. Sexy here. Oh yeah. Oh, I can feel the sexiness. Oh, shiny. Oh, there's like some dirt scratches on here actually. I'm surprised on the thingy. If you can look really closely, there's some uh, smudge marks and stuff and scratch marks. Weird. So it does require a six pin. Oh crap! It does. Uh, there's no uh, six pin adapter. Crap, there is no 6-pin adapter. I will be needing one of those to power this, uh... Shit, I don't... Did it doesn't come with one? No way. Come on, hold on. Let me check this. I need a 6-pin to, uh... Two Molex adapters, the 4-pin ones. Ah, that's weird. So it doesn't come with one, so... Be weird, guys. That's a problem. Just get one of those from work. So here's a dual-slot fan very nice and it's, I like how there's like a uh, caps on here doesn't really do much but oh well oh yeah so here's the back of the card right there oh they even have a cover for the crossfire here at the top oh shit now I can't run this yet. I had to wait for a six pin. Uh, so that's what happens when you get with a crappier brand. Oh well, it's a... well, that sucks. So I'll have to wait. Good deal though. Uh, all the HD4770s have this, uh, key sync. So... There's not really a difference for, like, cooling. They just have a different sticker right here. Alright, I'll make a review of this when I get this up and running. That's it. Alright then. Bye-bye.